This is Unpsych, in this video we are looking at photosynthesis. So first of all, let's look at the process of photosynthesis. As plants can make their own food by photosynthesis, and the equation is carbon dioxide and water is turned into glucose and oxygen. Now photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction, which means that it needs an input of energy from the environment. Now the cells in plants contain chloroplasts, which is where photosynthesis actually takes place. Now in chloroplasts, there are chlorophyll, and then the light is absorbed by the chlorophyll before it is used to convert carbon dioxide and water into glucose and oxygen. Now oxygen is released as a byproduct, but some of this glucose is immediately used by the cells, however the majority is stored and converted into insoluble starch. Now to test for starch, you can use iodine which would turn dark blue when in a reaction with starch. Now for photosynthesis to happen, there are many leaf adaptations. Now the leaves in plants normally have a large surface area for light to fall on. They also contain a lot of chlorophyll for photosynthesis. They have air spaces which allow carbon dioxide in and oxygen out. They have veins which bring plenty of water to the cells. They have guard cells that open and close the stomata to regulate gas exchange as well. Now these adaptations mean that they can photosynthesize as much as possible. However, there are also some limiting factors to photosynthesis. Now the first one is light. Now the brighter the light, the more photosynthesis occurs. Now if there is a lot of light, a lot of photosynthesis will happen, however if there is a limited amount of light, this means that the photosynthesis will also be limited. However, after a while the amount of photosynthesis will level out as something else becomes the limiting factor. In terms of temperature, as the temperature rises, so does the level of photosynthesis. However, photosynthesis is controlled by enzymes and they are denatured at around 40 degrees. So therefore the rate of photosynthesis will actually start to fall at around 40 degrees. Finally, there is also carbon dioxide levels. And this is because plants need carbon dioxide to photosynthesize. So therefore where there is a limited amount of carbon dioxide, the rate of photosynthesis will be limited. Now as the atmosphere is around 0.04% carbon dioxide, it is often a lack of carbon dioxide that will limit photosynthesis. So finally, we'll just look at making the most of photosynthesis, because the ideal conditions for photosynthesis can be artificially created in a greenhouse. Now greenhouses can trap heat so that temperature does not become a limiting factor. Now in winter, a heater could be used, where in summer, shades and ventilation could cool things down. Many farmers ought to use artificial light to increase the rate of photosynthesis, and farmers can increase the levels of photosynthesis by using a paraffin heater, which releases carbon dioxide as a byproduct. However, glass houses do cost a lot of money to maintain, so they should only really be used when the positives outweigh the negatives. So thank you for watching this video, and see you soon. Bye.